Hey everyone, it's Sharky of the Toronto Entrepreneur and Startup Facebook group, Toronto's number one online business community with close to 10,000 members. I am here at number one conference in Toronto for tech and entrepreneurs, the Collision Conference. Let's go inside, check out what's new, what's out there, uh, and what's awesome. Let's go. So I'm here with a good friend of mine, Adam. I haven't seen him for how long? Like four or five years? Five years, yeah. At least. Since yeah. we had coffee, yeah. So what brings you to, to this uh, to Collision? Uh, just the vibe. I mean, it's a massive conference with a lot of great people. I mean, just like the community, the events. I think everyone really like brings everyone up and uh, the tech community is very supportive. Yeah, so, so what's your business? Are you here for business or just pleasure? A uh, bit of both. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, so I, I run a company called Hired Hippo. I'm the founder and CEO. Uh, we're a hiring marketplace for high potential pre-vetted talent, a lot for the tech and startup community. So that's why we're here. Okay. And then, so how, how does that help your business? The main thing is exposure. I mean, uh, recruiting is a trust business. It is a matching business. And so, you know, uh, being here, seeing a lot of our customers, uh, making connections, we threw a breakfast on Tuesday morning uh, for work tech companies, founders, investors, and uh, just kind of be here surrounded by great people like you. Awesome, awesome. Hey, so we're here with Irene Cortez of Gather Games. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I saw her last night. She had nice uh, Stan Smith, the originals. I saw him last night who was on a blue on blue. Now you're on a fuchsia on fuchsia, very hot. Fuchsia, you know someone did the fashion when you say fuchsia instead of pink. Okay, so uh, it's pretty awesome here. We're walking by and that caught my attention. So explain more about Gala Games. What got you into it? What's it about? So Gata Games is a, is a gaming studio from Toronto. And we initiated this entire studio from uh, adapting my opera called the Gata into a video game. And that kind of spiraled off into exploring other technologies like voice tech, machine learning, and how that incorporates itself into the game engine. And uh, just really exploring ways of bringing embodiment to a digital experience. Hey, so I'm here with Cherry. So how has the collision been for you? Yeah, collision has been amazing. Um, I would say for myself, uh, this is actually my third year at Collision, and what's been really exciting is this year, as you can see, we have this booth here at Schulich because we're doing a lot of really innovative things in the tech and innovation space, and so that's why we're we're out here really as a team, uh, yeah. really sharing what we're doing in the Canadian ecosystem. So what recommendations do you have for people coming to Collision for the first time? I would say the main thing is to actually be strategic and to really think carefully about, hey, like if I'm coming to Collision, what is the thing, like, what is the thing that I want to achieve or even who are the who are the types of people I want to connect with? And really be okay putting yourself out there and actually sending out messages, really making the ask and even making it personal. I mean, I've had a really fantastic time at Collision this year and I've been so specific about the types of people that I've been reaching out to and it's been incredible, like closing partnerships, making a lot of new friends, but everything has been like curated and personal and really thinking about also the other person. Uh, so tell us about this company, tell us about your experience at Collision. Sure, uh, so basically CIDR is an acronym for converting your dreams into reality. We are a boutique ad agency based here in Toronto and we help startups scale through designing a customer acquisition system for them. So using ads, websites, landing pages, emails, um, and, and a lot of videos, we combine it all together to build an automated system which helps startups and other companies acquire customers on an automated and a consistent basis. So what what did you learn from being here that, that was insightful that you didn't know before? I learned a lot about new innovating technologies up here. Uh, I learned a lot about the kind of companies that are looking for marketing. Hey, it's Sharky here. I am with one of the most recognized member of our entrepreneur group, Daniel Rizzi, Rizzi Wazi, and uh, the tech, that's new name game, the tech startup lawyer. Uh, so how was the event for you? You're like everywhere. And so how was this event for you? This event was amazing. Like the energy at Collision, it's something else. There's so much opportunity. So I had an alpha, alpha booth this year with my tech startup, WeWatch. And like Sharky said, I'm also a tech startup lawyer. So 
For the startup, we were here to talk to government. There's a ton of government here, met a ton of people. There are customers. And then I get to go to all the booths and talk to all the tech startups and hopefully help them out with their legals. How does that compare to your other type of marketing channels that you're doing, going to smaller networking events? Yeah, so you want to be targeted in your marketing. So I do a lot of general entrepreneurship events. And then, and then even at a tech event, though, it's not purely startup founders. So just the density of, of startup founders here is insane. If, if you work with tech startups, you definitely want to be at Collision because everywhere I look around, there, there's people I could be talking to. So what advice do you have for someone attending Collision? Know what you're looking for. And there's so many people to talk to that just only talk to people that they're in that audience. So if you're a B2B vendor, you're looking for companies that pay for services. If you're here to talk to government, talk to government. And if you're here to find investors, uh, you're not going to have a lot of luck because they're kind of hiding, but you, you have to reach out on the Collision app and, and sort of figure out a way to find them. So there you have it. This is what the experience is like at Collision. You meet a lot of great people, great networking. The most important thing that we learned from this is that you want to come here to network because people are here, people you want to meet are here and prepare, prepare for what's coming up. Make sure that you make a list of the people you want to contact, you reach out to them and have an agenda once you get here. And most importantly for the parties, you want to book them in advance. So make sure you get your tickets for Collision next year and make sure you join the Toronto Entrepreneurs and Startup Facebook group and get all the latest information. And I'd love to meet you at the next event. And on the site, we will be having all the latest information and tips about Collision for next year. So I will see you guys, Collision 2024.